What's going on everyone? It's Bars. And I'm back today for another preview video and we have got the Premier League. Get my trusty computer up to help me with the stats. So if you haven't seen it, I previewed the grand final that's just been played. Congratulations to the West Coast Eagles. Fantastic game, that's what a grand final should be about. Really good game, so I was very happy to watch that. So if you haven't seen the preview, go check that out. It's less than five minutes, so um, most recent video. And sorry about the noise, this is my sister's got people around for 18, so this is going to be maybe a bit distracting, but that's all right, I'll try my best. Um, first game we have is West Ham, Manchester United. Um, looking forward to this one. Manchester United, obviously my side have got to, got to bounce back. Um, this game, um, we have been shocking our last two games, drew one all to Wolves, when we should have beaten, the Wolves are a good team, but we should have beaten them at home. Um, it was 1-1 and then we lost to Derby County, a championship side in midweek and credit to them though, the better team, but again we should have won, we had better, we had a good calibre of player on the pitch that, that game, so disappointing to lose that one, but hopefully we bounce back against West Ham away, it's not going to be easy, they kept Chelsea out last time, they played in the Premier League at home um, in the last game, so it's going to be difficult, but I still think United are going to get the job done, well, I'd hope so anyway. We need to, we need to get, because I honestly believe if we don't, I think Jose Mourinho is, he's out the door, I reckon, unfortunately. Um, and we might have to be looking for another manager because it's too many bad results in a row. Um, and next game, Arsenal Watford. Oh, hang on, and before I do that, the prediction. I'd probably, I'm going to still predict a 2-1 a win to Manchester United um, against West Ham. I still think we'll get the job done. Could be a 2-0 win, but hopefully we get the job done if it's 1-0, I'm happy just to get the win. Three points, that's all I'm looking for. Arsenal-Watford. Um, Watford have hit a bit of a bit of a tricky um, tricky stretch um, last couple of, couple of games. I've had some difficult games, um, so that's to be expected. I'm just getting up stuff here. So, yeah, last two games, lost to United 2-1, then they drew with Fulham 1-0, and I honestly thought that would have been a more high-scoring game. So, they'll be looking to bounce back against Arsenal away. Um, and Arsenal have been... Arsenal been pretty good. They've won four on the four on the bounce now. Um, um, three one, three two, two one, and two nil. All against good, good opposition as well. West Ham at home, Cardiff away. Still cut a newly promoted side could be still difficult at home. Oh wait, no. So at their home, Newcastle away is always a difficult fixture. And then Everton at um, home, you need to get the job done. They did so. I was still predicting Arsenal to get this one, but I think this would be a high scoring game. I'd, I'd predict over four goals in this one. Um, could be 3-1 Arsenal, could be 2-2 two -two draw, could be a 4-1. I think it'll be a 3-1, I think it'll be 3-1, I reckon, to Arsenal. I think that they'll still concede, but I think it'll be 3-1 Arsenal, so they get the job done. And Watford have done nothing wrong, but they, I just think Arsenal at home are going to be too strong. Next game, Everton Fulham. Um, this be, uh, should be a good game, I think. Um, Everton being at home um, is still probably... My favoured, um, my favoured team, um, but Fulham, Fulham been good. They've still scored some quite a number of goals. Um, Arsenal have only won the one game at home this year, and that was against Southampton. They drew with Huddersfield and they lost to West Ham. So the home form hasn't been too great this this year. Um, they lost two 0 to Arsenal last week. I would still expect them to get the job done. I know Fulham being quite good. Mitrovic, I'd still put, I'd still say, I'd still bet him, bet him to score. Um, so it just de um, depends. But I think Everton will get the job done. I think this will be a three-two game actually. I think this will be a very high-scoring game as well. I think there'll be plenty of goals in it. Could be four-two to Everton, but I think it'll be three-two. I'm predicting for that one. Huddersfield Tottenham um, can't go past Tottenham. I know they've had a few mixed results. Lately, um, they won two one at Brighton. They got a job done. Lost two. They lost two one to um, um, Liverpool. Um, they, and they lost to Watford. So they haven't had great results since they beat United three nil. Um, I would still. I'd, I'd still think they're going to win. They're going to win quite comfortably. I think that it could. I could think it'd be honestly a three four nil win. Um, I think Kane will get on the score sheet. I brought in more fancy team this week, so I hope he does. Um, so I think that they'll get on the score sheet, and I think they'll do it a few times as well. So I think this would be a good game for Tottenham to to get their form back and um, do that. But Huddersfield can be tricky at home as well. Huddersfield are quite good defense, can be good defensively on their day, but then they can also be very open. 
So it'll be interesting to see exactly what happens in that game, but I think Tottenham get the job done three or four nil. Man City Brighton, um, this will be a good game actually. Um, Brighton, it's going to be, I'll say good game, because most people are probably saying, why are you saying Man City at home? It's going to be a good game for anyone. This will be a good test for Brighton. They've looked good. They've been good for most of the season. They've had a couple of results go against a lot. They lost 2-1 at, to Tottenham at home, but they still played well. Um, they've had a couple of draws before that. They lost Liverpool 1-0, um, beat United. So they've, And then they... Uh, Lost to no, they beat no, they lost to Watford. So it's a few mix, a few mixed results there, but they've been solid in every game. I'd still, I'd, I'd still, I don't know if they'll score, but um, they're going to be a good bet to do well. I think. I think they'll still give uh, Man City a few problems, but I think City will still run. I reckon they run at four-one winners. I think. Um, still think they'll score a few. But uh, Brighton still haven't been too great away, but. It'll be interesting to see where they are in terms of their development, but they're, 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 Chris Union's doing a good job with them. Um, so I still think City will win, but it'll be interesting to see by how much. Um, Newcastle, Leicester. Um, Newcastle can be difficult at home. Um, they, they're, very, they're good, tight defensively at home, um, and they can the crowd can get behind them, and they can certainly create some good attacks. Um, and Leicester have been... Leicester have been okay without being outstanding. Um, they haven't really... The only game that they really looked bad was against Bournemouth when they conceded four. But besides that, they've actually been in pretty much every game um, for the season so far. So I I reckon it could be a 1-0 Leicester win because I think that, um, that uh, Newcastle were good defensively. Um, and I'd put money on Leicester possibly keeping clean sheets. It would be 1-0 or 2-1. I don't think there'll be very many goals in that one. But I'd, I'd, I think Leicester may be able to still score a goal and it could be, could be a 1-0 win to Leicester. So I'm going to go for that. Wolverhampton, Wanderers and Southampton. Um, I can only see one win in this game. That's Wolves. Wolves have been very, very good. They played well against United last week. Um, and... They're looking like a very, very good team. I, I, I predict them at the start of the season to finish in the top 10, and they're looking like doing that at the moment. They're performing really, really well um, in every single game they play in, and they've got a good foundation with a good set um, structure and formation um, and playing that every week, and everyone's doing their job, and they're getting results from it. So, And Southampton have been still struggling a little bit. They, made the bit, they surprised me. They've actually done a bit better than what I thought they might have. Um, I certainly didn't have... I certainly had them for relegation, but... They haven't been smashed off the park in any games. They drew with Burnley. They lost to Everton 2-1. They lost to Leicester 2-1 as well. Lost to, um, they beat they beat Palace away. Um, they drew with Brighton. And they lost to Liverpool 3 So Liverpool, the game is probably their only bad result. But Liverpool's Liverpool at home. So you're not really going to do much against them. But they've done all right, but I, I still think that Wolves will get the job done. I think I can see that one being a 2-0 win to the Wolves. I don't know if Southampton will score against Wolves being at home for Wolves, but it could be a good game, that one, so keep an eye on that one. Okay, the late kickoff one. The biggest game of the week by far is Chelsea versus Liverpool. This will be a fantastic game. Chelsea won 2-1 midweek and with a Hazard goal towards the end. This could go all the way for me. Um, Liverpool being... This is going to be a real test to show if Liverpool are the real deal this season, if they can challenge Man City for the title. Because I don't think... I don't think United... I think United are gone. I don't think Tottenham are going to make too much of a surge. They might, but I don't know. Man City are obviously going to be up there. Um, and Chelsea and Liverpool are the two probably ones catching Man City at the moment. Because um, Man City's still got De Bruyne to come in. Um, so that's going to be big in for them, and they'll probably kick up a gear once he get comes in. I think it's within a month, I think, from what I've heard. But it'll be a very, very good game. I honestly don't know who's going to win. If I was to pick, I'm going to go for a one-all draw, because or a two-all draw, but just because I don't can't pick a winner. But if someone told me you have to pick a winner, you can't pick a draw, I'd probably lean to, just to Chelsea, because it's at home, and um, they beat the midweek, so they've got the confidence up. But it could, I think it's going to be a 1-1 one, one or 2-2 two, two draw, but it could be a Chelsea win. That's what I'd predict if I was going to pick a winner. Um, on the Sunday, Cardiff-Burnley. Um, home for Cardiff. 
again, they'll be tight defensively. They always are. Burnley are starting to kick up a gear. They're starting to look good, um, getting a bit of form. I predict 1-0 win to Burnley in that one. I think Burnley will just get the job done. Cardiff won't concede many goals um, against Burnley, I wouldn't think. I can't see Burnley getting past them more than twice. Um, and Cardiff have looked a bit... Mm, no, it could be a 1-1 draw, actually. Um, um, but I think Burnley 1-0, I reckon I'll go for. But it'll be a very, very low-scoring game. Probably not the most... Interesting for a spectator, but I've been wrong. Before. You can be wrong. It could be a three-three draw, could be two-two draw. You don't know. But I think it'll honestly be a Burnley, Burnley one 0 win or two-one win. Um, and the final game, Bournemouth Palace, um, home game for Bournemouth. They're good at home. A bit surprising last week. I certainly didn't expect them to lose and lose in the way they did. Four 0 to Burnley. Um, I know it was an away game for them, but they've been strong away. They won two-one against West Ham they only they lost 2-0 to Chelsea but Chelsea are flying at the moment um, and Palace have, um, again with Zaha they do a lot better than without him and they've performed well with um, with Zaha um, if I just go and have a look at um, what they have done with him in the team if I can find Zaha here he is um, the games he's played, they lost. They won two 0 against Fulham. They lost two 0 against Liverpool. But again, Liverpool at home is very, very difficult. Uh, Liverpool is just no, not away. They're, they're all at home. Palace. Um, it's a difficult game against Liverpool in any um, in any context. Then they lost two one to Watford. They should have drawn two two. I remember um, uh, Ward should have uh, scored a goal in the like the last kick of the game. Should have scored. He had an open header. Should have scored. Um, they lost 2-0 to Southampton when he didn't play. Um, Huddersfield, they won 1-0 um, when he played. And then they drew with Newcastle, so 0-0. Uh, so, again, they haven't really... They've only lost the one... What is it, I think they've only lost the one game with Zaha. So, it could... I was, I'm going to go for a 2-2 draw in that one. Um, actually, no, I'll go for a 2-1 Bournemouth win. I think Bournemouth being at home, they'll get the job done and they'll get the chocolates in that one. So that's it for the preview. Um, hopefully, we have some good games. I think there'll be a lot of goals this weekend, actually. Um, since we're very high-scoring week, there's a few teams playing each other that allow quite a few goals. So hopefully, has a good weekend. Hopefully, hope United get the points. Hopefully, it's a good weekend. I um, hope you enjoyed the video. As usual, um, if you'd like to, click a like on the on the video. Subscribe if you haven't or if you're new and you're um, new to the channel. Turn on notifications so you don't miss anything. Comment, leave any comments down below and I'll get to any comments that are left. Um, and I'll be back tomorrow for the NFL preview and hopefully soon with the 12,000 FIFA point pack opening and you'll see and find out what, um, what we pack. So I hope you guys have a good rest of your weekend and I'll and a good Saturday night, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, I'm out. Cheers.